Greetings, welcome to a Dominaria Swiss Intermediate Draft. Ironic, because I'm neither Swiss nor an Intermediate, I'm a bloody English expert. So much so, I'm going to pick Sarah Angel over Teshar. Uh, which may be wrong. Actually, maybe I'm not going to. Teshar or Sarah Angel, please uh, please do check out the website link in the description. It's, uh, it's, it's being built when I can do it, but um, got loads of cards, not Dominaria yet, never mind. Teshar, Sarah Angel. I think Sarah Angel's better. Better than Teshar? We have a Sarah. Everything else is worse. Lovely. Ooh. Am I a coward or a king? I should probably be a coward, but I am going to take Dread Shade anyway. The only other card I take is Skittering Surveyor, but this card is just horrible. Horrible to play against on turn three in a black X. Surprisingly enough, right? <laughs> Let's take Dreadshade. So, uh, results this one have been mixed. I've been doing better off camera than on camera, and I, I play a lot at work, which I obviously cannot record, because I'm pretending to work. But, I've uh, been doing alright. Not as well as I could be doing, but better than, uh, better than I did in the fucking last format, which was a piece of, piece of crap. I think Silver Falls is worth a little bit. Uh, Blessed Light's otherwise going to be the pick of. And it grew from the ashes. I have an unhealthy obsession with Power Stone Shard. I think I'm going to take Sulfur Falls. Uh, these cards actually end up. Uh, no, fuck it, I'm going to take Blessed Light. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Uh, Sulfur Falls, whatever. We're doing videos, we're not taking $1. I'd, probably, I'd have taken a $3 card. And that's my, my limit. $1. Fine, we'll take the good card. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. Right, well, this is certainly a load of crap. I guess Lanawar Elves is the best card. Maybe tied with Animus for that. Uh, that acclaimed position. Chronic is good. I'm just going to take the Lanawar Elves, though. The Shade was very much a speculative pick. Good card, albeit one that's probably not going to uh, be played in the deck at this point. Oh. Precognition field. A field in which I don't live, nor do I want to. I shan't be taking it. I think Eth Boom Fallon might be the pick. Maybe Dreadshade's back on the table, boys. Claim that it's Yavamaya Sapper. Then again, I know that Dreadshade's better than Lanawar Elves, it's in, in no way in any doubt. White green is a token colour, and Sapper is obviously a good token colour. I think it's more likely we play Elves than Dreadshade, given the, given the mana constructs. I did get a really good 3 over with a double Dreadshade deck, it was mono black. And uh, yeah, Dreadshade is really good in mono black. That's not so good in white black. Or any other variant. I'm going to take the Sapherd over the Deathbloom Thalid. And go from there. I'm going from there on to hmm, some average green card. A white card. A, two, a random two. We could take Broken Bond. I do seem that to always have the option to pick one up a little bit later, so I might she <clears throat> excuse me. I might veer away from that. I was trying to think of the word that was steer. It came out as she For which I can only apologize. I'm gonna take Banalish on a guard. A crappy two drop instead of a crappy three or a crappy six. No, trap is actually a good card. Goes well with all our historic cards. Oh wait. It doesn't look like we're playing black. Protect is a load of poop. Divination is not to the first card we want to take in blue. Let's have a look at the curve. Let's tentatively take out the dread shade. I suppose the unfortunate thing is we did pass a Teshar pack one, pick one. I, I stand by, I think the angel's better. Uh, especially how, how the deck's turning out, but is worth pointing out the white may not be open pack two. I think I'm going to take Invoke the Divine over Ether Glider. 
this is very very replaceable especially in a creature deck like white green where you have decent low drop creatures and invoke the divine it's nice to have one of them <coughs> perhaps less so if you're going to pick up a broken bond next let's take broken bond one of these will probably make the cut Mm, do, do, do. Um, well, this sucks. I'm going to take Healing Grace. Yeah, it's better than the Compass. Power Stone Shard it is not very good. Stronghold Confess is actually a good card. Interesting to see it this late. And we could still be black. Final Parting or Guardians of Kolos. Or Quilos, even. I suppose I'll take the Guardians. Final party is just too expensive for what it offers. I vest, sure. So we might actually end up playing black. Uh, I don't really like divest. I guess we split it up in the colours for now. And one time calm, one time calm, one time calm. Well, Beric's blade wing is also good. Wrong mythic. Uh, it's so much better than the other cards, I'm going to take it. It's just ludicrously good. Juggernaut would obviously be a strongish pick. So would Untamed Kabu. Oh, Kabu or Bladewing. Talk amongst yourselves while I try and work out how much Bladewing's worth. It's not much, right? Oh, can I really pass a Bladewing? When I've got two cards from other colours. I mean, no, not really. Kabu's great, but surely it's just got to be the blade wing. It's just so good. Terrible mistake. Uh, I think Lich Knight, Lich Knight's great. Yeah, I stand by the pick, whatever happens. Lich Knight is fantastic. Vicious Offering's good. Reproach is good as well. But let's just take the most powerful card and see where we go. Knight of Grace will be the pick for that reason. We have a Grow from the Ashes, but it's unlikely we're going to be playing green at this point. Juggernaut would look nice in this deck, I suppose, but like I said, we stand by our decisions. Let's pick Knight of Grace. It's a very strong card. There's the Jugger. But obviously the Juggernaut. So that will call the cavalry. I think Juggernaut's just better, and we're not 100% sure what colour we're going to be yet. Juggernaut will definitely see play in our deck. Shana Cisse's legacy. Everything else is crap. So I'm probably going to take that and continue staying open. Sort of. In many different colours. This is very good. I've yet to play with it, but I know it's good. Right. Let's just put everything in. Let's put them all in. Let's sort by colour. And then we'll get there eventually. To charge works well with a, a white green deck. If you're not 100 percent sure to play, we're indeed that likely to play. Skizik's by far the best card here. I think I'm probably gonna take it. If we go red white. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to take the three drop here just because we don't really know where we're gonna end up. The Bloodstone Goliath, hold on, sort by converting mana cost again. We do have two. Uh, if we do end up red white, we might want the Goblin just as a two drop. We have two already for that permutation. Go back to color. Held, not what we want. Yeah, I think we'll take the three drop. Even though our black cards are very powerful, I do think it's unlikely we end up in black. And that being said, here is a Wind Grace Acolyte. Let's just take another glider. Ooh, an animus as well. Pretty good. That being said, I, I do just want to stay open. <laughs> even, even at this late stage, I'm going to take the short sword. I think I'd rather play the red deck. I think Blade Wing is significantly better than... Well, Dreadshade is just not going to happen, is it? In which case, Jossie Vest, brilliant card as it is. Not really the reason to be black. Well, I mean, it's double black. So it's difficult to be black solely because of that. Gift of Growth or Sparring Construct. Or Yargul. Not Yargul. I wonder if I've drafted this very wrong. Hmm. 
I'm going to take the... No, I think I'm going to take Fervent Strike. Because I do feel like being the... I do feel like the red is the best for us. I'll take Charge, actually, as well. Yeah, and if we're playing red, we just need some amount of combat tricks. Sure. Okay, so it's red-white at this stage. Red's definitely not open, but Blade Wing is just so good, I think it's a crime to not play it. And our white cards are average. As predicted, we didn't see much white this pack. I guess the guy we passed Teshar to went heavily into white. But he's going to get, unfortunately for him, he obviously wouldn't see it coming being first pick, first boss being passed to Teshar, but he's going to be cut in white here. Oh good, more black cards. More black cards to completely problematize everything. Settle the score. It's so oh, clearly the best card in the pack. I guess the Chronicler's also... Well, what does it go back? Invoke the Divine. Blessed Light. Charge Fervent's right. Sure. Okay, let's go back to Plan B. Okay, Skittering Surveyor would be good. And indeed, maybe a Tegra, maybe a Vicious Offering. Who knows? Who knows at this point? We're just taking cards and hoping for the best. I don't think that that's enough. <laughs> Song of Frailies as well. Jesus, all these, all these incredibly tough picks. Okay, we're going to go Vicious Offering. We're going to completely change our mind and go into white. White, black. There we go, white, black. That's it. Blessed Light, sure. Or maybe Gideon's Reproach. Two Blessed Lights is a little expensive. Let's take Gideon's Reproach. I think Blessed Light's better, but as I said, this is a somewhat aggressive deck, I guess, given that we now know our colours. I think, I think we know our colours. I must say, this is... Um, I, I'm usually... If I may, quite good at drafting, but if rages, I kind of know what I'm doing. Quite good at reading signal speculating. I really, really struggle with Dominaria draft. I don't know why. Not the playing so much, but the actual uh, actual drafting. I often end up in this spot, which at first I probably could put down to an anomaly, but now I think maybe I'm doing something wrong. Please do share any comments down below if you are, well, if you have anything to say, if it's of value. If you don't think it's a value, put it in and we'll be the judge of that. And if it's not a value, we'll laugh at you. Let's take cast down, because it's very good, okay. By sheer force of being thrown lots of good black cards, I've made the clever decision to go into black. Sure, cast down. It's a shame we got the two surveyors in packs with good black removal spells. I would really like a surveyor for this deck. I suppose skin which is quite good. Not as good as I think it is, but playable nonetheless. Let's take it. Oh good. I was hoping for these cards. No. Um, let's take Blessing of Bells and Lock. Good, 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 good. Duke. Oh, come on. Why <laughs> did everything go wrong for me? Why can I never be happy? Oh, mercy. Okay, at this point, it seems like we're running divests. Oh, no, I've committed to black. I suppose I'll take a second blessing. Okay, Windbrace Acolyte. That's an actual pick. Dub. New. I guess we're running the charge, aren't we? Despite not really wanting to at this point. Dub, sure, let's run it. Have a dub. 
Blood Tallow Candle. Board the Weatherlight. Okay, this deck seems to be built around my one three drop tapper. Hopefully, getting there. Could have had all the rat colonies. Could have had it all. Right, so I, I don't really want to play charge. I don't think this is the right deck for charge. But it's not. So let's get rid of that. Let's play a vest. Play a dove and hope to get there. And we do have a lot of flyers. <laughs> okay, let's just play charge. Right. 10 8. I can live with that. Save deck. A triumph. Or so, see you for the games.